so you guys uh, look at these people or their mission control <laughs> and I presume they are doing what controlling the mission so they're thinking deep so look at that they're sitting there nonchalantly the things going 28,000 is going 10 kilometers a second oh yeah whatever eight kilometers a second ten times as fast as a bullet and we're just yeah mm -hmm, yeah and so uh, I think we got it right here uh, Houston so in uh, normal life, I don't think I could do this. Wow, very nice, very nice. And, I, and you were able to do it in slow motion. Here I could do, was... do it as a 10. <laughs> very nice. Well, I really appreciate you taking time. Very nice. Very, she stuck the landing. Very, very nice for taking time out of your schedule. you got a lot going on up there. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to a few people we have here back on Earth. We have the winners of the uh, YouTube Space Lab competition. We have Dorothy and Sarah and Amr. Greetings, everybody. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Uh, now, Sonny, you've been working on their experiments, right? Uh, I'm ex excited to be here with you guys. You guys, I was uh, happy to have met you guys uh, in Washington, D.C., and congratulations. I think uh, it's been a little bit of a whirlwind for you since that time, so I, I hope you're enjoying yourself, and uh, we're ex enjoying your experiments up here, so thank you. So uh, you look very relaxed, and then you set your microphone down. That's very nice. <laughs> or set your microphone up, or where is up. But uh, what is a day like? Is it? I get the impression you guys are busy all the time. Well, every day is different, and we are busy all the time. We have a general working day, same as time as you, GMT. Um, but we usually get up. But you have any other stuff you have to do, like the laundry and dishes and things like that? Well, luckily enough, most of our food is um, in containers, and then we throw it away. So um, we don't really have dishes up here. If you think about it, dishes aren't going to work up in space. So we just sort of eat our food out of different types of containers. So we don't have to do that. What sort and, of food do you um, eat? There's not a lot of dirt up here, so your clothes don't get dirty, for the most part. What sort of food do you get to eat up there? That delay is from the speed of light. We have a wide variety of food, which is really great. You know, just in this, <laughs> in this little packet, I have beef fajitas, which uh, we usually eat with tortillas, because bread is a little crummy, and then it makes a mess and gets in your hair and stuff. Um, a lot of freeze-dried stuff, or dehydrated stuff, I should say. And we have a hydrator right above me. This is um, cauliflower and also spinach in here because my mom's probably watching and wants to know I'm eating my vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, there's things in the can. And, um, of course, we have can candy and uh, other things like that, which are, you know, everybody likes to eat on Earth. Uh, it does look like, uh, it does look delicious, but how about the experiments? Can you show us the experiments? Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Certainly. I think, I think you're thinking about the experiments that uh, these guys sent up, right? Um, yeah. experiments and Dorothy and Sarah's experiments. And they're right here with yeah. me. So I have them here in space. Uh, this is a gap. This is Dorothy and Sarah's. And it shows um, a little bit change of color from when you remember it launched. It was before uh, a little bit more red. And then we combined them in the gap experiment. And so now, obviously, with the dye, they've changed, which means uh, there's some definitely some indication of some growth. But we'll have to see how that goes when they get returned to Earth on SpaceX coming up at the end of October. So this is where there's a dye that changes with the acidity, and so with, as the uh, bacteria metabolize, whoa! As they metabolize, it changes color. Yeah. <laughs> so do you guys have a question for her e right exactly. now? Exactly. And the other oh, experiment, sorry, sorry. which I think... Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. The other experiment, which I think you guys want to take a look at, if we can get it the camera to focus is, uh, of course, our little Nefertiti here. 
Let's see if she can get in focus. Hold on. She's pretty. In, she's in focus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of uh, dead flies. Well, she's a little scary. <laughs> All right. I think she's been eating well. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, Om, do you have a question about your spider here? Uh, yeah, I, I'll show you a question. So, I, I see there are a lot of dead flies hanging around in the uh, silk threads. Did you, did you get to see her actually do the jump? Oh, yeah. And, you know, she was in the CGBA, I mean, I'm sorry, the... Uh, in, in her habitat there, and then also in the locker where the uh, payload folks were able to see her with the camera, and that was that's what this is contained right here. But every now and then, of course, I took her and Cleopatra out and fed them, you know, by opening the plungers and opening so more fruit flies would come out. And one day I was doing that, I had the light on like this, because as you know, um, they hunt in the daytime, and I wanted to take a look and see if I could see her. And my gosh, I saw her stalking a fruit fly, unbeknownst to that poor little fruit fly. And she was looking at it and she was going real close and all of a sudden she jumped right on her. So it was amazing. And so I think the spiders absolutely um, adapted to space. It was incredible to watch. Wow, I mean, okay. I'm watching you, you're very impressed. It's really, no, that's very cool. So they were able, the spider's able to adapt just as you predicted on. So uh, Sarah, Dorothy, do you have a question for Sonny? Yeah. Hi, Sonny. Hi. So um, we were wondering, can you see any differences in like how yellow each test tube is to show the levels perhaps that our bacteria has grown depending on the medium it's in? <laughs> I'm sorry, can you repeat your question one more time? Oh, are there like different um, levels of yellow? Like, can you see the different color changes or are they all the same color? No, they're all, they're all different. Actually, this one came, I just randomly picked number five, I'm, you know, but they all have a slightly different color. This one is uh, really nice and orange, but some are a lighter color and some are a darker color of red. So yeah, they all have a little bit different. So, um, you know, I didn't get the, I was wondering about all the data points that you guys picked because I w was wondering why they were all the different colors. And I noticed it pretty much the first time I, I took them out and looked at them when I was taking the pictures that they were definitely different ones had different colors. So you're going to see some interesting results when you get these back. And you know right now we're keeping them at four degrees in this chamber so um, it should maintain its, uh, w you know, where it is until it gets back on the earth for you. That sounds great. So that's what you guys predicted, yeah? Yeah. Yes. That's not bad, people. Yeah. Look at you. Both <laughs> of you, both experiments came out pretty much the way you predicted. And Sonny, you are extraordinary part of this and we <laughs> very much appreciate thank it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, so it's not just that these guys here have been hoping to ask you questions and thank you for answering, but we have some questions from uh, their classmates in Michigan in the United States. Here we go. Hey Dorothy and Sarah and everyone in the studio. We're back here in Troy, Michigan and we also have a question for Sonny the astronaut. Obviously the Olympics were this summer, but we were wondering how international relations changed after we found out who got the gold medals. <laughs> Very interesting question. Um, <laughs> we actually, you know, we have a little bit delayed TV up here if we get streaming video uh, it's called KU and so during the Olympics we would get KU and get all of the highlights of the Olympics at dinner time which was great as a group we would gather around the table and watch the Olympics and I thought it was more of a bonding experience between all of us as we are cheering for each other's teams with like when Japan would win and when Russia would win, we'd all be like psyched for each other. And I think that that's really good for um, international relations. It was not, uh, you know, on anything bad. It was more like we were supporting each other and, uh, you know, got to know each other's athletes through, through the other, the knowledge of the other uh, crewmate on board. So it was really fun. That's very